Hello guys, welcome to IT Expert channel. Today we are going to start a CCNA course 200 up to 301. Uh, we have planned to finish this course for up to 31 days. Kindly subscribe the YouTube channel and follow the channel each day. We will upload the video each day sequentially. First day that we are going to discuss about the OSI module or and TCP IP module. First of all, we need to know why we require for OSI module and TCP IP module. For understanding the how communication occurs across all the network, it's uh, with OSI module and TCP IP we will understand this. And also with the OSL model and TCP IP when they launch and they they, they support interoperability between computing vendor product lines. Between when it means different vendor can communicate uh, with each other. By using OSI model and TCP IP, we can you we can know the concept of the network, and also we will use this OSI model and TCP IP for troubleshooting. Next, so we need to learn what are OSI model and what are TCP IP. OSI model the f is seven layer. One first is physical layer, data link layer network layer, transport layer, session layer, presentation layer, and application layer. Each of these layer have the separate job. And TCP IP, the three first, uh, the three uh, last layer like application, presentation, session. All of these three A's combine it to one layer by name of application layer, a TCP model. Transport layer is transport layer. And the network layer, which is in OSI model, is converted to internet layer, is in, in name it in TCP IP. And the, la and the first two layer, physical and data li link layer, are uh, converted to network access. It means TCP IP, we have four layer, application, transport, internet, and network access. An important note you need to memorize it that when we discussing about the layer of model models, we usually refer to OSI model. And when we are discussing about the protocol, we usually refer to TCP IP. You need to memorize all of uh, these uh, TCP IP OSI model. And we will learn each layer uh, its job. First, as I told you that each layer have the different job. Whenever the a package crossing to the network, like this A network and this B network, and a package have planned to cross from A to B. It need, it need to pass the seven layer. Each layer will study each layer separately. First, what is the uh, we will start from the seven layer. What is the application layer? Application layer is an interface between the network and application software. It's one interface between the network and application software, and include it's also include like authentication surveys. Wait typing password and etc and what is the presentation layer presentation layer define the format and organization of a data include the encrypting define the format example what does it mean uh, it means when a package is coming uh, when a package is uh, coming from a, a, a physical layer and uh, or from network A, a packet is crossing to coming to in a network B. This is the uh, presentation layer and this is the application layer. 
in a presentation layer, the data will define its format. It means is data is JPG, is data is PDF, what is it? And also it's encrypting. Example, uh, from it's encrypting, it will encrypt the data and decrypt the data. It should be readable uh, by the application layer. An application layer, as I told, it's one interface between the uh, between the network and the software application software. And so what is the job of season layer? Season layer have uh, uh, the job of establishment and maintenance the end-to-end -end direction flow between endpoints, include management transaction flows. It means when the season is creating between days A and B, it have the job of establishment decision, establishment decision between network A and network B, maintain its decision, and also it have the management of the management of transaction flow. Uh, when a package is crossing from the, through this decision, it it will manage this, and all. Uh, and uh, we are going to start the study about transport layer. One important layer in OSI model is transport layer. It have many sir. It have many surveys, including the connection establishment and termination, flow control, error recovery, and segmentation of a large data blocks into smaller uh, for trans trans. Trans transport layer will establish a decision between two holes the, in a network and it have the job of transporting data and also it have the job to uh, establishment decision, termination decision, flu control of decision error recovery it means some data uh, or something is showing error in network b it will recover the any error which has happened and it will segment the the big size of a data in a smaller example when network a sent a data about uh, six um, six thousand byte it will it will divide it into six parts. Each part is 1000 byte and it will uh, transport the data to the network B. The next layer we are going to study about the network layer is refer the logical address uh, and also routing and a path termination. What does mean? Will deciding from here well, assume that we have uh, <clears throat> three way to reach the destination example uh, there is another network and there is another network and this is the, our house and this and on one way when the, uh, the network layer one of the responsibility was the uh, logical IP address logical IP address what does it mean it means the address which it is it have uh, it have in the address which the system have it's called the logical address it's not physically this logically entering that we will discuss about the IP address in the future uh, so the network a or computer a want to transfer the uh, data to network B so it will decide to which path it should go it should go through this path it should go through this path or it should go through this path it will be decided through the network clear and path termination is the like routing which which path it should go and routing option we are route what is mean routing option it means between the many network there is another network this is another network this it will route from this this router a to router b router c and etc what is the data link layer 
it will format the data into frames to be suitable to cross over the physical medium. Like uh, this is computer A and this is computer B. Through here, uh, then it's received package in the data frame, frame data link layer. Data link layer it will format the data into frame. It will change the data into frame, and it make the suitable to cross uh, through the physical layer. It means through the wire. The feasibility that make these things is, is by data link layer. And the last, the first layer which we are going to study is physical layer. This physical layer is defined the electrical, optical, cable, connectors, and any procedure that require for transmitting the bits and representing representing a some form of energy passing over the over a physical me medium how to memorize this uh, uh, from uh, application presentation season transport network data link layer physical layer it we will we can memorize this sentence and each sentence the first of each sentence will uh, will help us to memorize it is, Easily, like all people seem to need data processing. All application, presentation, season, trans transport, network, data link layer, and physical layer. All people seem to need data processing. And the next, the next part that we are going to discuss about TCP/IP layer. Or protocols. Uh, this uh, TCP/IP is the most used for communication. Today, it networks all of using TCP/IP models. Uh, this internet networks, I mean. As I told you, that uh, TCP/IP have the three, uh, li uh, four layers. Sorry, have four layer: application, transport, internet network access. Application. Uh, application use the protocols such as uh, DNA, Stellnet, SNMP, POP3, IMAP, ETC. They're using, they're representing data to a user and control the dialogue. That's it. We will study each of its protocol and what is the transport. Uh, it will uh, transport layer. It will support the communication between two uh, devices, between the sender and receiver. It uses two uh, protocols, TCP and UDP. And the next is the network layer. Determine the base path through the network. That, as I told you, that it's using um, protocols such as IP, ARP, ICMP. And the network access. Uh, it will controls the hardware device and medium that make up the network, like Ethernet wire. Uh, as I told you that uh, when we referring about the protocol, when we discussing about the protocol, we should refer about the TCP/IP. All the work of TCP/IP is drawn on what on protocol. And the application is all work is through the layer, layer A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now we are going to study some of the protocol. What is uh, this protocol which is using? Like DNS, provide the IP address. DNS, domain name system. It will the change the IP address into name. A name into IP address. Example: When you are searching in a Google like Google.com, this is the name. It will change this name into IP address, which is the IP address of the Google. What is Telnet? Telnet is enable administrator uh, to log into host from the remote location. SNMP. 
simple mail transport protocol and pop tree and also IMAP or internet message access protocol that, that uh, it has a facility or it will use uh, or we can use the, the facility of these three protocol that we can send email you know all of email using these three uh, protocol uh, this SNMTP pop tree IMAP and the next is DHCP dynamic host configuration protocol it's assigning IP address to the client automatically uh, and also what is the HTTP hypertext transfer protocol is uh, is transfer the information between the web clients and the web server uh, like when you are searching in a Google and opening some website uh, it's some of them is using HTTP some of them is using HTTPS for representing them it will use this protocol FTP FTP file trans transfer protocol facility download upload the file between the FTP client and FTP server we can upload some file in FTP server we can download some file from FTP server SNMP it's a good uh, protocol that you can make SNMP simple network management protocol when you enable this uh, this uh, this protocol in your hard device or in your network you can monitor your network your your hardware like server and etc tcp trans transmission control protocol support virtual connection between two hosts and uh, virtual connection what does it mean it's when if we run a cable between two hosts it's it's called is it is it's physically run TCP ran the virtual connection between A and B and it the TCP is reliable protocol reliable delivery data it means when you send in data if you, your data has been reached to the destination you will know example you transfer data from A to B if your data is successfully transferred when acknowledgement is coming from the B site, that you know that you are, you are, uh, data has been trans transmitted successfully. UDP user data ground protocol is faster than TCP, but it's un uh, unreliable. It means when you're sending a data from network A to B and that your, your data is successfully sent it or unsuccessfully sent it you will know about you will not be ever about your data IP what is IP IP is provide a unique global address to communicate uh, to communicate between the computer over the network when two or three computer is computer A, computer B, C, D, E when these computers want to communicate uh, with each of them they are using IP address and the next ARP what is ARP? Um, please um, ARP protocol is very important address resolution protocol finding a host hardware address when only using IP address no ARP address resolution protocol what is this this your PC this your PC and this your switch sorry I need to assume this is a switch and your PC is connected to the switch your PC just know the IP address of the switch you know about the uh, you know about the hardware address or mac address mac address your pc also required to know about the mac address of the switch we will study we will discuss more about this mac address and why we require it the ip and mac address in the future so in this case you just know about this uh, when a pc have the ip address 
and want to know the MAC address of the of the C which of or any other device it will use the ARP protocol address resolution protocol ICMP ICMP is when you pick computer A to computer B it will show you the connectivity between them or reachability between them all they use the ping trace route they are all using the icmp what does it mean i see internet control message protocol what is ethernet ethernet is lan standard that uh, cable that's uh, all cabling in the la in a network side is calling the ethernet the ethernet and also we can call the it's a lan standard that's uh, that's using for framing for preparing the data trans transmission onto media. What is uh, wireless? It includes both uh, standard like IEEE 802.11 standard uh, and also uh, which is VWLAN wireless local area network and also cellular access option one important thing that you need to know about the pdu what is pdu pdu is protocol data unit it's used for encryption it's using in osi model like when the data is crossing from the from the physical layer or from let's start from the application layer the application layer is the PDU is a data, is a point of data. Presentation is also a data, and decision is also a data. When coming to the uh, transport layer, transport layer, the data will be changed to segment. As I told it you, the transport layer has the job of establishing and termination termination of the season and also it ha it will control and also it will segment the data uh, from a large net from a large data it will segment into the small data that should be suitable for transfer transport over the network when uh, it changing it will segmenting the data uh, that name is segmented when the data is crossing to the network layer, the network layer, the data will be changed to package. From the package, when it's crossing to data link layer, the data will be changing to frame. And from the frame, it will change it to bit. Through the bit, it will can cross, uh, cross uh, from the wire network. One important point that you should know about the transport uh, layer uh, as I told you transport the layer using the UDP and TCP the TCP and UDP they are using the, the, the port for transmit transmitting the data uh, mostly they are using port and it's the header of uh, TCP uh, protocol that uh, the, the source and destination port sequence number acknowledgement and also lens reserve window checksum urgent options and data work this you this port so there is a question that why we require the port number let me explain to you briefly here is uh, assume that uh, here is computer a and here is a web server or or internet through the computer you're browsing google and another sign browsing the facebook browsing the another website another website and also using ftp and you have many many connection at the same time so your your request is going to the domain your request is coming to the domain when the domain or uh, sorry when the 
when the target find or the website want to reply back to the, the specific computer, the, this one PC, how it should reply, example, you're browsing Facebook, you're browsing Google, you're browsing email, and you're browsing ETC, how it will show that each, each web uh, request on a specific tab. They will use each of them using separately port number, multiplexing port number. It means when you're requesting through this, that your request is coming back to that specific port number that will show in your PC. And the next is also the same thing. And this each uh, port number of this application is different. Let me explain you a little bit more. Uh, when a request is going out through the UDP, UDP or TCP protocol, it will assign uh, the source port number uh, will be dynamically, dynamically uh, will be assigned. It will start from 1024 up to 65,535. It will be assigned automatically to each of these your browser. From the 1024 below number will be reserved for well-known application. The well-known application that we will learn what are the well-known application. The well-known application I mean this that application that uh, that already you know about them and the application that each time that you're using them and these below 1025 the port number or all of them are reserved example for FTP data port number is 20 FTP control is 21 SSH is 22 telnet 23 SMTP 25 DNA 53 DHCP DCP 67 and 68 TFTP 69 and also HTTP is a T POP 3 is 101, SNMP is 161, HTTP is 443 uh, and also for VIP, voice over IP and video they are using also a port number that starts from 6384 up to 32,767. An important point that I should mention to you, you should memorize all of these ports because uh, in configuration we'll use them. This was a brief uh, definition about the OSL module and TCP IP. For more information I will upload all of this content through the uh, through the Google Drive and I will share the link in a description kindly download and study all of them each line uh, each, each line deeply and let's continue our lesson let's start the discussion about some uh, network device first we are going to discuss about a hop and a switch what is different between hop and a switch this is the picture of hop and this is a picture of a switch. What is different of them and why when we can use this hop and when we can use the switch. When you are using hop in your network, I'll assume this is a hop. Um, when the network uh, that the uh, connection of a device will be least, it means two or three devices and also the bandwidth is not an issue in your network and because how will create occlusion example when PCA want to send a package to, to PCP at the same time if a PCC want to send a package to PCD it will be it will create occlusion in the hub and the switch is different the switch is not like the hub in the C which will be create a logical segment. It will not it will decrease the collusion. It, there will be no collusion. When you when the connection of your PC will be a lot, 
and your and bandwidth is most important point in your uh, work then you require a switch in your network an important point that I need to mention that each part of the switch have occlusion so when occlusion happen to an uh, in your network then it will not affect to another your device so when you are going to buy one a switch you should uh, understand the three parts one is about the cost of the switch and another is about the interface characteristic it means the number of the port must be sufficient both for now and for future it means if you want to increase your network that uh, you should think about it so the second part is about the hierarchical network layer hierarchical network layer what is the hierarchical network layer so we have actually in hierarchical network we have three layer one is access li access layer switch distribution layer switch one core layer switch the switch which are using in access layer they will have the capacity or they will have the sufficient of port security VLAN, fast Ethernet or Gigabyte that's and PUE link aggregation quality of server these features that if you require you can buy an access layer and the distribution layer at the distribution layer your switch should have uh, should support layer 3 layer 3 means your switch should work as a um, should can work as a router as well it means it should it can route the package from the, from one network to another network assume this one another network it can route from this network a it can route the switch to network b that's it and also the high forwarding rate the transporting the transferring of file should be too much high the speed of giga port is giga ethernet or 10 gig look uh, the access layer the speed was fast ethernet or giga ethernet and here is giga bit ethernet or uh, and 10 gigabit ethernet and also redundancy component it means your switch should we have two power or example when some some problem is happen some part of your switch it should have this uh, redundancy security policy like access control list link creation and quality of service and core layer switch okay i'm sorry i should i need to explain what is the access layer and the access layer is a layer that uh, uh, the that, uh, that end user can connect to the network let me explain you through this assume that there is uh, access layer switch and here is an distribution layer switch and there is a core layer switch at the access layer the end user can be connected to the network like this end user all of this user is connected to this switch and this switch is also connected to server like a server and etc and the end user can easily connect it to the network for transferring of this one ex small example if you have multiple access switch then you require for the, for fast trans, transferring the data you will require for distribution layer for distribution it will send the package connecting the access layer will be connected to distribution layer from distribution layer it will connect to core layer core layer switch should have the feasibility of layer 3 support very high forwarding giga ethernet and 10 gig redundancy component link aggregation and quality of service i'm sorry that i can't explain each of them briefly that you uh, it will take too much time that uh, I, I if i explain each of them deeply i will upload this book uh, 
I will share the link in description that you can download it and you can read and for your more information I just briefly explained to you if you have any idea if you have any question you can type in a comment so what is the router it's a primary device that use interconnecting the mm, interconnecting the networks like different LANs, WANs, WLANs choosing the router main factor to consider the following one is ex expandability uh, you should choose a router that it should have the facility to expanding because in future if you require that medium Med media it means the interface which is in your uh, in your router let me show you this router this is a type of router with, with interface each interface can each of interface you can connect different network to uh, that's uh, interface and also the next part is about the operating system future it means the ISO version the ISO version means different ISO version can support different future so you need to do research about each of I ISO version that you can choose your mm, requirement the next port is the console port for initial configuration of router you need to console port uh, the console port when uh, site have RG45 port and USB port or mini B, B connector let me show you in a picture here is the console port here is the console port it, it, the RG45 will be connected here and another RG45 will be USB or COM a mini B connector and the next port is auxiliary port when you want to configure your router from remotely or from outside of your office you need to configure first the auxiliary port LAN interface the interface which is connected to, to your net one one side to your router or you want to connect another network to your router it will require the LAN interface Ethernet one Ethernet one that's LAN interface that uh, you can connect it uh, is like sewage you can connect in here and Ethernet one the cable which is coming from outside like your ISP or or another thing that you can connect your Ethernet LAN NIP slot is a slot that you can use different types of interface like serial interface, DSL interface and another interface that you can connect uh, to the NIP slot like this. NIP slot is simply that you can insert the port a slot in here and you can configure it as you want Another important device is a firewall. A firewall will be software or a hardware that can protect your data and your organization. It will be a software also that will be installing in some system and um, that can protect your data. We have different kind of uh, uh, we have different kind of um, firewall that using IDS and IPS both uh, instruction detection system and instruction prevention system uh, so both of them we can use to protect our network to recognize the attack from a network so, but the work or the class window class of usage is different let me explain <coughs> this IDS instruction detection system will be used just for uh, for having a log information of attack mean when attack then that you can recognize from where that it's happened it's just detection sensors and you can use it in your network and another is IPAs IPAs from prevention system where the attack cannot uh, someone cannot attack your network it will prevent it from attack the next part that, that, that we need to discuss about the, uh, the media media and its standardization 
and we have a total we have three basically uh, network medium that's what first is copper cable fiber optic cable wireless copper cable the signal or pattern is electrical plus fiber optic the signals pattern is light and a wireless as you know is working like a wireless like transmission data through the microwave transmission discharge you need to memorize you need to look at discharge for more more information I'm just crossing them the next step that you should know about the Ethernet cable and the type of Ethernet cable Ethernet type is 100 base T 100 base TX the 100 base TX and also up to 100 gigabit base LX4 the bandwidth of speed is also different the type of cable is also different the maximum distance which is using is also different you need to know about them like cut 3 cut 5 UDP cable have the uh, bandwidth up to 100 the MB PBX that the same will be used sorry the 10 MB, MB per second and the same will be used up to 100 meter so it's a type of 10 base T like this you need to memorize all of them for your information Thank you so much uh, for today lesson is over uh, kindly subscribe the channel if you have any idea if you have any question please mention in a comment I will provide you I will fix the video for that so if you have an idea you can you can mention in a comment thank you so much again I'm going to tell you I will share the link of this material this box in a description so that you can start study deeply uh, for your CCNA if you have um, planned to pass your CCNA exam or if you're a student or if you want to just know about the network or, or if you if you're an employee or you just need to study this material I will so briefly explain each things uh, so kindly subscribe the channel. Thank you so much. Bye